Today we're going to look at the piston insulation tool, this little piece here. Here's a piston, obviously this fits in here, compresses the rings so you can fit the piston easily to the cylinder block. Unlike the old one, which was a clamping method, and when you clamped the piston inside the tool, there was a good chance of breaking the rings. Okay, firstly we're just going to pop the piston rings onto the piston. You can put these on with your fingers, but we've got a little, it's an American tool. The ring pops into the jaws there. It just makes life easy to get the rings on without breaking them. So there we go. Just pop that one down into the groove. That one again into the groove. And there we are. You'll notice the tool has got two tapered faces on it. That's to locate the ring into. So the ring goes into there, like so. And then just expand it to touch. Drop him into the groove just there. There we go, that's in. Okay, now we're going to show you how easy these fit with the tool. The tools come with an engraved size on them. So 2.80, that's plus 20, or in metric 7112. We'll put the tool over the top of the bore. We'll then oil the piston. Both sides, plenty on the rings, doesn't matter how much you get on there. Okay, make sure you centralise the tool, piston in, and then you push him in, and that's how easy they fit. The taper in the top of the tool compresses the rings, and then it takes it down to the full diameter of the tool, which is the same size as the ball. I'm now going to show you the uh, old fashioned method, which is the clamp on the piston. So what we'll do first, we'll lightly oil the piston. There we go. And now we'll put the clamp around. Now this is where you've got to be careful. The second ring is quite fragile. That's the one that will break if you break anything. It's a cast iron ring, whereas the top ring is a steel one piece. Okay, so there we go. Tools on the top. Now gently wind the clamp up as you see it's it's not very nice so once you've got the piston out the bottom you've got the clamp reasonably tight pop the piston in the bore push the clamp down so you know it's square to the top of the bore clamp the piston up what we use to push these in or what we used to use to push them in is a cylinder liner this is a 998 one but does the same job so pop that on the top of the piston now, hold everything down securely and there you go, it's gone in now. But as you can see, it's a lot more awkward and easy to break anything with the old type tool. So there we've got the old type. These are the new ones. We keep them in four sizes plus 20, 40, 60, and 73.5. can sell them individually, or we sell them as a package. So if you're going to build an engine, they are the best way to fit the pistons.